Let's not make a big deal out of this. It's just a little I, Coleman is doomed. Hello everybody and welcome to I, Coleman is doomed. I'm I, Coleman and I'm doomed. And this level starts you right off with some demon times. Some demon punching times in our case. Uh, I'm trying to play every single Doom game with just a pistol in my fist like some kind of weirdo. And uh, you're currently in Doom 1, Episode 2. We've got to be pretty close to the end, right? I mean, once I'm done with this, I will check the map. Hey, just get dead, please. Come on, come on. All right. E2M7. All right, so we've only got two more levels, and we've been doing about two levels an episode, so it's possible that we will finish episode two of Doom in this episode of I Coleman is Doomed. How would that be? I Coleman is Doomed is also presented in a slightly higher resolution than previously, which... That was amazing. Which I don't know that anybody's going to notice, but, uh, you know, the little thing I do for you. Wow, that, that was just... That was just terrible. Hey, I don't have the Berserk Pack. Maybe I should just use a gun. How would that be? What if I just... Hey, what if I just shot you with my gun? How would that be? Oh, it's the most fun thing ever in Doom. He's shooting this with this. Just loving it. Loving it. I bet that was way more fun at like four times speed. Ah oh, man, it's a whole mess of guys. Whole mess of these pretzel stick looking weirdos. Oh, so by the way, uh, I was told in the comments section, and uh, I know that when you're watching this, yeah, it's just, it's just a nightmare. When you guys are watching this, this happened three weeks ago, but because of when I'm recording it, I was just told in the comments section that uh, in Z-Doom, which is what I'm using, uh, there is apparently a way, somewhere in here, I bet it's in gameplay options, yes, to make it so that you can drop weapons so I could get rid of the chainsaw and have an easier time switching. Now, some people think that I should do this because it'll make things a little easier because I was complaining about that very issue. Some people think I shouldn't because of, uh, you know, the fact that that was not something you could do in the original Doom. So, make your voices heard. I'm going to use the comments of this video as a barometer, whether people think I should be allowed to drop weapons or not. Um, because, you know, I'm doing this for you guys. Uh, personally, I would like to. It would make my life a lot easier if I could get rid of this stupid chainsaw that I always switch to when I want to use the fists. Um, and if it didn't automatically switch to like the shotgun and stuff, but uh, at this point I'm so used to it that I don't know that I have any super strong feelings either way And now a demon punching montage <laughs> Wow, this just keeps getting worse. When he used that fire belt chime, the fireman said Well, that was horrible. Oh, I remember this room. And what I remember about it is that there's a berserk in the back. Let me just... Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Ah, an invincibility is not the same as a berserk, but that's nice. And, ah yeah, berserk time. That was a med kit. This, there we go, this is a berserk. You know, I think it really does say a lot about Doom that you get these, like, epic, I am quite literally invincible and kicking ass moments, even when you're playing with these rules. Even with rules designed to make me as weak as possible, Doom is still a power fantasy. 
There's just, there's something miraculous about this game, I tell you guys. Also, box room. My favorite, as we've discussed in the past. Gotta love old box room. What's in these boxes? Why are they here? Who cares? Now that I have a berserk, this should go... Yikes, yikes. Me and my big mouth. Alright, let's just grab the key. I don't really need to deal with any of you guys. I'll hit whatever this switch is. Bad time. Bad times. Uh, excuse me! Ah, uh, nope. Nothing, nothing essential in here. Just, just getting wrecked. That's all there is in here, is getting wrecked. Excuse me. Grab this health. These guys are fighting each other. That's great. Y'all have a good time. I'm out. BRB. Airbnb. A lot of rooms with nothing on this level. A lot of just... Just... I don't know, there's guys here, I guess. That's a secret. A ginormous, literally blinking switch that opens this is a secret. Okay. I had to look up who designed this level, find them on Twitter, and send them tons of unsolicited hate. That's always the best way to respond to creators. Imp versus Baron! Who will win? Considering that the Baron can't even be bothered to turn around and fight... It literally took like three or four hits for the Baron to even notice. It's amazing. Also, I keep hearing the sounds of more and more Barons waking up, and I hate this. You've been in here, right? Yeah. Still, now we're here with Berserk. Now I think I'm ready to take on those hordes of imps. And they're all gone. Cool and good. Anyway, these are the spawning vats of the level. Spawning vats. You might notice there's vats and spawn. And darkness. My old friend, I've come to talk with you again. Turn that to the cold and damp. More secrets that are just switches and that are of no use to me. Thank you. My life complete. Man, I don't want to get this invincibility just to deal with, like, these guys. If I have to go back and fight all those barons of hell, maybe. Actually, do I even need to be here? I walked past the blue key door. I do want that health, though. Let me just try to shimmy around. There we go. Grab this. Oh, it's an upside down cross. Oh, it's so scary. Oh, fire textures. Oh, lava or something. Oh, abstraction. All right, there's the exit. Obviously, there's going to be some sort of bridge that has to be unlocked again because Doom 1 level design only has a few ideas. It's even the red key door, too. Amazing. Okay, so I really like this area. If you listen to my appearance on World Extermination Radio, I talked about this specifically, how, like, you're walking through this tech base, and this looks like, you know, oh, these lights, they're shiny, they look really cool and interesting. Oh, but they actually hurt you. Uh, and so that, I think maybe they are, because there were the radiation signs, like, are poison? Wait, poison? You're telling me there's just a giant pool of literal, like, Rat poison ass poison. All right. Anyway, the point is that uh, I really like this. We talk about how episode two has more like subtle hellish touches than say Doom 3's, you know, giant pulsating organs. And I think this is a good example of that. The the very architecture of the base, literally just these shiny lights, uh, hurt you now for some completely inexplicable, never addressed. Uh, reason and I think that's a really interesting little design choice especially because elsewhere those lights are helpful and good um, it's not like you know the giant poison pools which are obviously and always bad also this is a fun little fight you know you got it's this open area there's all these imps coming around you constantly hear them making noise which makes you tense and on edge and I mean obviously I'm just gonna berserk my way through it but Still a cool touch. Still well designed. I take it back, whoever designed this level, which I could look up at any time, but just can't be bothered to. Anyway, let's go back to the blue door. Mm -hmm. Scooch. There we go. 
Watch me, I'm just, I know, I know I'm going to completely forget and not pick that up at any time during the level. Even if there's some big fight, I will just... That's how it is, right? It's every time, it's like, ah, I need to save this for the boss battle, and then you just save it forever. Incredible, really. Hey, yellow key. Is there anything else here, though? Because I feel like there is. There is not. I am a fool and... Oh, wait. How about this? Here's something. Here's some content. I bet if there's one thing you guys aren't sick of, it's one-at-a-time demons. Nope. Well, there went all my health in like a second. Oh, but it was worth it for this ammo when I was already full on ammo. And this ammo I can't use when I can't use it. They're better- nope, no secrets either. Great. What a- what a good use of my time. Alright, now I need that invincibility. Now I need it. Now I'd love it. Ah! Excuse me. Did you just get out of the way? I'm gonna go get the invincibility and then I'm gonna beat you up. I'm gonna just- I'm gonna be right back, alright? I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna beat you up. Alright, let's do this. I'm ready now. Had to take a breather. Had to- Wow. That was extremely easy. And again, the poison like it's no big deal, cause I'm invincible. Alright, where does the yellow key go? Ah, yes, in there. Do, 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 do. I don't remember if these lights hurt me or not, but I assume they do. You know, just based on pattern recognition. Also, please, come in one at a time. I don't know why that was funny to me. Red key acquired. And a little of this. A little of that. A little of this. No! No, I refuse! Uh. Easy peasy. Demon squeezy. And I got 91 kills, or 91% kills. So here it is, the Tower of Babel. So right out the bat, uh, this, this reminds you how, hey, remember how the Barons of Hell were the big boss the last time? And how much trouble you had with just two of them? At least, you know, ostensibly, because I didn't really, but... Well, this, whatever we're facing now, has utterly killed four of them and, like, brutalized them. And that is just, I mean, again, that's, like, a really cool way to, without words, without the need for, like, a, a lengthy story or some kind of cutscene where Samuel Hayden is telling you, you know, the cyber demon is bad. You're about to face some real stuff. Now, this is going to be really interesting. The Cyber Demon is really the toughest monster in the game. Um, the Spider Mastermind, uh, I mean, I guess is technically the final, final boss, but the Cyber Demon was supposed to be the final boss, and I've always just found this fight much harder. I don't know. I think I should probably punch these guys, and then I'm going to have to pick away at the Cyber Demon with the freaking pistol, which is gonna be lengthy. That's what it's going to be. Also, will you guys, like, kill each other already or something, please? So this level is, is really generous with the rockets. I really want to kill all these guys first because if I'm, you know, it's going to be hard enough dodging the cyber demon for the amount of time it's going to take to kill him with the pistol, but also having to fight off these jerks is just extremely going to be a pain. And there's quite a few of them on, on ultra, ultra violence. Ah! No, 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 no! Oh, no. No, I... Crap, that's that's where the health is that I really need. 
Holy crap, though. I, I don't I don't want this. Ugh. Punching these guys is so frustrating, but punching the cyber demon is like insta kill. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna go for it, I think. I'm losing too much health getting bit. Holy crap. This is such an ammo suck. Uh, why is this a well designed, difficult, exciting boss battle? Why couldn't it be the Barons again? <laughs> there he go. I think I have finally gotten all the. No. I think I've finally gotten all the flying skulls. Ooh! And. Some of that. Oh! Psh. Get hecked, idiot. Alright. Unless I'm very much mistaken, it's just me and old Saibi. Let's make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well that's an omen. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is, like, this is gonna be it. Is I'm gonna shoot it a lot. It's gonna shoot at me in these volleys of three. And I just need to make sure not to get maneuvered into a pillar where I can't circle strafe. And hope that I have enough ammo. Because I don't know how many pistol shots it takes to kill one of these guys, but it's, it's definitely a lot. saved halfway through. Now <laughs> I gotta fire all 150 shots again. Oh yeah? Well your stomach is made out of Twizzlers. So, you know, who's the real winner here? Stop doing the running man. Don't stop me now. Cause I'm having a good time. Having a good time. <laughs> Burn through the sky. Yeah. 200 degrees is what I am in Fahrenheit. I'm traveling at the speed of light. Yeah, I'm a cyber demon man out of you. You know, I could be doing like. My taxes. Be filling out some spreadsheets. What a fun game. What a fun game. What a fun game. Okay, I really gotta start saving. I mean, not that time. I'm trying to think of funny stuff to say, man, but like, what have I got to work with here? Brown background, green pillars. Gray, like, Zen Garden in the ground. You know, it's got those little rake lines in it. Getting a little low on ammo here. And I'm saving. How about that? But I am worried about this ammo situation. I mean, I'm pretty sure, based on the blood splatters that Z Doom helpfully provides, that, uh, I've, I mean, I've landed most, if not all, of my shots. Um,. So like, I'm, I'm making it happen. I just don't know if I actually have enough ammo. Okay, so we're out of ammo. And low on health. Now I guess the real fight begins. Or ends abruptly. Uh, <laughs> this is exactly why I didn't want to do this. It takes around 400 bullets, which is pistol ammo. 400 bullets. I only, I, I mean, I started with close to that, but it was like 350 or something. It takes about 371 non-berserk fist hits to kill a cyber demon. But given the cyborg's extreme, or the cyber demon's extreme powers and low pain chances, it is strongly not recommended. The Doom Wiki is saying don't do this. But I have no choice. I don't care how many times this thing kills me. 
It is going down, as per the ridiculous official rules. Eventually. Almost hit. Mm. Ah! Ha ha! One punch! Ugh. Nope, still just one. Uh. Boy, this is some great video right here. Nobody is getting sick watching this. One punch! Alright, one punch got. Save. 370 to go. I can feel it. Second punch is coming any second now. Ugh. 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 <laughs> oh, I am starting to regret one or two life choices. Open up the console. Make friends with Cyber Demon. Get the Cyber Demon to leave me alone. Buy Cyber Demon a cold one. Pulls. Alright. Alright. Trying something else now. So my thought is... I've, I've reloaded my save from the beginning of the level. I have 400 bullets. So if I land every single shot on the Cyber Demon and don't waste any on the skulls, the lost souls, then I can kill it with the pistol. I think I already missed one. But even, even if I can't do it exclusively with the pistol, it can be fewer punches, hopefully. Get try it again is what I'm saying because I just don't know that doing it you know punches only is whoa gonna be worthwhile plus maybe I can uh, inspire some infighting yeah th these stupid things will definitely do huge damage against the cyber demon uh! I mean I can get the cyber demon to kill them I just don't know how much help they're actually going to be. Oh yeah, I definitely think it's time to crack open this save. Uh, come on, kill these last, like, two lost souls. Nice, one down. Don't be shy, lost soul. Come out from behind the pillar. There we go, there we go, not bad. Ah! Bad. Uh. So there is another soul sphere, I'm definitely gonna need that. A backpack full of ammo, all I'm asking for. All you give is rockets. Rockets, rockets, and more rockets. Rockets? Rockets! Ooh! ooh, ooh. I just hope that the stupid auto aim doesn't decide to target the lost souls instead of the cyber demon. Ugh. I think these pillars are supposed to be for cover, but honestly, just give me room to run around in a big circle any day. That's why the Baron fight was so easy. Uh oh. This is about to get a whole lot more unfortunate. I'm sick of this dude! I'm done with him! This level couldn't even have a good song. It couldn't even have a good song. I just know I'm gonna get et by that lost soul. I'm spending all my time focusing on the cyber demon. This lost soul is just gonna swoosh right in and get me. Ah, not load! Not load! Ooh. Oh no, I don't think so. So we're back to the fists, but between letting the lost souls chew on him and using 
as, like, basically as many of my pistol shots as possible. It should take fewer punches. It is still going to suck. There is no way around that. Ugh! Exhibit freaking A. I just had the verbal equivalent of a key smash. And I'm coming in! Yes! Alright, got a punch. Got not load. Jeez. Two punches! <laughs> Three punches. Aw, oh, man. All right, three punches for real. Four. Hey, look over there. Five, yes. Six. Seven. Eight, great, best villain. Number nine, number nine. Are we watching college football? Cause I just got the big 10. 11, ooh, and that was close. Twelve! Lucky thirteen. Fourteen! Fifteen, I think. I kinda lost track. There's another. And another. Getting him right when he's turning around a pillar also seems to be effective. Ooh hoo hoo! Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Putting in the work. Get God! Get God! Oh! Get God! Get God! Get God, though. Ah. Uh, I got God. Get God! Hey, get out of there, maybe. Alright, fine. What the? How much freaking health do you have? Doom is bad, actually. I take back everything I've ever said. Doom, bad game. Bad video game. You think you've got the best of me just because you've killed me 800,000 times? Well, guess what? I'm not giving up. As many punches as it takes. Even if I end up recording for like 12 hours, I am going to kill you with a punch. I am going to do whatever it takes to wear you down. Another one. Yes! Yeah! Woo! Get! Got! Oh, that was beautiful. F future me, future me, you gotta put in a slow motion replay. You gotta put in some, like, some, ah, uh, some music that just Ah, you, you know, you know what I need. Oh, man. Cyberdemon killed with pistol and fists. Pistol and fistol. Whew. Ah, oh, yeah. That sucked! That sucked so bad! <laughs> but we made it. We made it, and now... Now we are done with Deimos, which is this thing floating above, and we are going down into hell. And we are gonna win! We are gonna win! We can do this! Yeah! Oh! Oh, I'm ready for it. See y'all next time.
So for those of you who want to try this at home, one thing that I'm finding that works pretty well, if you can time it just right, which I most of the time am not, but... So you see, he stands there to fire three volleys. Um, so if you can wait until he's... right after he's fired the third rocket. Um, and then I definitely can't do this while talking, but if you wait until after the third rocket gets fired and then run up, uh, he will still be standing there just for a moment. Um, and so you have a moment where he's effectively stunned and you can try and get in the punch. Now, you have to time it for that like split second where he stays standing because immediate there's nothing stopping him from doing two volleys right after each other. Let's see if we can make it work. Nope. 